show designed with women in mind and the men that love them. I am your host, Nan Gill, and today our guest is Andrea Vieria. She is a graduate of Toro College with her master's in special education, and she has a master's in educational leadership from the University of SW. She received her principal certification and has a business called Home Away From Home, which is a social adult daycare center. And to top it off, she is an actor and an author. I give you Andrea. Hello. Thank you. It's an honor to be here. Thank you for having me, Dad. Okay, so I don't know what to talk about first. There's just so many things, but I think the first thing I want to talk to you about is your amazing book called I Love Me. Now, you want to tell me about your book and what inspired you to write it? Well, the book is basically about a few tweens and teens and maybe some young adults who might need some inspiration, who might need guidance. And um, the book offers coping mechanism skills if you're going through any issues um, that we all go through on a daily basis. And um, you're able to work your problems through and laugh at the same time while you're reading the book. Well, there's nothing better than laughter. <laughs> so I looked at it and it says, it's featuring my bad bunch. <laughs> yes, yes. And that's the inspiration. Um, my bad bunch. Well, they're a bunch of uh, mischievous kids, inspired by my children, by my students, um, nephews, nieces, um, neighbors' kids, <laughs> and they just um, they get into some trouble, and they have to pay for their trouble. Right. So you know that's important. Right. And um, and it's a life learning experience. It's about making better choices. Yes, it is making better choices. So that's um, what inspired you to make this book. Um, probably the choices I've made. <laughs> um, and I would like um, others to kind to kind of recognize their actions before they do make the choices. Right. So that's important to know what you're doing before you, you know, kind of jump into the fire. Right. To know the crowd you're with. Um, and also just being a regular kid, you know. So um, they're, you know, they're curious. They get into a lot of things. And some good things, some bad things. And we're, you know, we're here to work on the bad. Right. To make sure that, you know, they stay on the right track. And to know that when you do make the bad mistake, it's not the end. No, it's not. That no, you can not. work your way through it and right. do better the next time. Yes, it's important to learn from your mistakes so that you don't go down that route. Right. Again. And I notice in here you have like a workbook thing where the kids can work through some things. Yes. Like they can make a mission statement yes. of what they want to do with their lives yes. and a vision board yes. to it's, help them move forward. Is, yes, it's very important to have a vision board, even if you're working on a, um, a hobby. Right. You know, you can set goals and, and a time frame so that you can, you know, see it through. And also explore what your interests are. Yes. So you can direct yourself towards obtaining them in the future. Yes, that's exactly yeah, that's a great right. book. Is, is this a limited edition? No. Um, it's currently being sold on Amazon.com. Great. 
And I also have a website, AndreaBearia.com, where you can also um, purchase the book as well. Cool. Very cool. And uh, I'm sorry, BarnesandNoble.com. Oh, okay. <laughs> Let's not forget about Barnes and Noble. <laughs> now that you're doing the mail order. Yes. Yeah, yes, they're back yes. in. Yes. They're back in. So, um, you are also an actor. Yes, I am. Okay, you want to tell us a little bit about what you're doing with that? Well, I've been wanting to be an actor since I was a teenager, probably younger than that. So I've decided to take some classes. I've been doing some extra work. And I currently, um, I work with a production team, um, Willie Gilly. And um, they've been helping me learn my acting skills. Mm -hmm. And we're also doing a play, which I'm very proud of, called Supper with Ja. And I am playing Mother Mary. Uh -huh. And it's an honor to play that role. Oh yeah! It's a it's a it's a great honor, especially to have a a son as Jesus Christ. That's right. It's a tall order, really. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, she was an amazing woman. Yes, yes, yes. Do you find that that kind of leads you in the direction where you're going? Yes, it does. Um, yes, I I I enjoy reading the script. I enjoy doing my lines. And I'm, I'm looking forward to doing the play. You know, we have a great cast. Um, a great director and writer, David Wilson. And um, it's a very it's a very good play. And it talks about um, the, the last days of Jesus Christ. And um, and the honor, his honor we're kind of celebrating his honor as well. Right. Cool. So, um, you know, you're doing some amazing things right now in your life. You're writing and you're acting and you're teaching and you're taking care of adults, you know, in your own special business. Tell us a little bit about what it was like growing up. You know, did you have any struggles or challenges in growing up? Well... I did, but I have a mother who kept us grounded. Mm -hmm. um, things weren't always great, but um, she was very strict, and um, and I honor her strictness. Right. Um, you know, I, I'm grateful that um, we didn't just, you know, run around all times of the night. And, you know, well, that happened when we got older, but <laughs> <laughs> she kept us in line. Right. And playing Mother Mary kind of, and I relate to being, um, to being a mother. Right. You know, I honor her motherness. <laughs> yeah. Well, women are an amazing part of the family. I mean, yes, you know. Yes, we're matriarchs. Right. We, um, and I think now it's just starting for us to really reach our point of exercising what we want to happen in the world. Yes. Because we definitely don't want people killing our babies. We definitely don't want um, people, you know, shootings in schools and things like that. So mm -hmm. we're working together to make a world that works better for everyone. Yes. And, mm -hmm. and mothers as the ones that give birth and, and create life and are tied to it. I think we have a more of a commitment to peace yes. Yes. than anything else. Yes, we're being more recognized. Um, um, we're not being put at the bottom of the list, you know. Right. And uh, people are seeing how great it is to be a mother. and um, How important. How important it is and to be inspired and, and to listen to your mom. Right. And to make good choices behind that. And it's also important to know that not every mother is like Mother Mary. We all struggle. Everyone does. Yeah, you know, so we need to um, give some moms some slack sometimes. And work together. And work together, yes. Did you find it was difficult 
um, growing up as a woman of color? Um, yes, I still find being a woman of color challenging um, with the roles that I that I get accepted in um, or called back for or um, jobs that I've applied right. for. So, you know, we still have a long way to go. Yeah. We really do. Um, being a woman, being a woman of color, right? you know, those are... Um, those are boundaries, you know, they're assets, but they're also, um, they give us limitations. And that's what we're trying to go against, the limitations. We're trying to break down the wall of limitations for a poor woman of any color, any nationality. Right. You know, I, I think that women have a, it's a challenge to be a woman. And in, in, in somewhat a man's In many world. ways. Yes. Yeah. Yes. Because we are the ones that are the caregivers for the children. And then to see them grow up and not have the opportunity or or go through some difficulties or get involved with drugs. I mean, I was seeing something online the other day about how easy it is for children to purchase drugs online and how many actually end, you know, end their lives because of that. And yet, you know, the, there's not governmental controls over the Internet the way there should be. Yeah, right. The Internet has become a playground. Right. You know, and um, unfortunately, our children are the one who, you know, kind of suffer behind that. Exactly. And, um, we have to, we do, we do have to uh, monitor them more. And, and we have to work together. Yes, yes. We, we have to really pull have ourselves to together. together. Yes. Because we can do a lot when we work together. Yes. When I was growing up, we had neighbors who would, if they saw us, you know, oh, does your mom know you're doing, you know, you're here <laughs> and stuff like that. And no, we would get home so Mom would not know. Right. We were we weren't doing much, but we had other uh, people looking after us. Right. It was a community. Right. Where did you grow up? I grew up in the Bronx, yeah. down near Yankee Stadium. Bronx is a great place. Yes, it is. It yeah. really is. Yeah. It's, it's not as bad as um, people make it out to be. And um, we've come a long way since the blackout of 1977 and. Um, Jenkins really did a good job of right. building it up, and Rudy Giuliani kind of um, got the streets in order. While and, he was uh, still well, saying? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Yeah. <laughs> but he cleaned up the streets a lot. Yeah, you know, so definitely. I do give him credit for that. So when did you feel like you wanted to become an actor? What drove you to want to study and become an actor? It's been my passion forever. Forever? Yes. Um, as a child, um, we had family members come over for Sunday dinner. And me and my sister would kind of entertain the family. Um, we would do this skit. I was called, um, it was called Mrs. Cheap. And I was Mrs. Cheap. And it was just... I was supposed to be like an older lady who would always go and want to buy things but wouldn't buy it because I was too cheap to buy it. Ah. <laughs> so, you know, it, it was really funny. Yeah. And they would have us doing dance classes, and um, I was kind of tall, so I wanted to be a model. I just wanted to be in that world, you right. know. And my mom... She says, no, no, I'm not paying for you to go to Barbizon, so uh -huh. you can forget that. You know, back then, it was harder, especially, you know, being a woman of color, to get into that field. We had um, we had our grades, but, um, you know, we didn't have the opportunities like they have the opportunities that they do now. Right. We didn't have Facebook, you know, we didn't, um, so it was kind of challenging for us. So that's what made me want to um, write this book because you should always do something you have a passion for. 
However, I thought I would have more stability in my life if I became a teacher. But I've always longed to be an actress. So that's why in some of my classes, I have us, um, we do a lot of plays that helps them, you know, with their English language arts. Um, you know, we... Um, what just, age group do you teach? Um, all age groups, but currently I am teaching a eighth grade class. Okay. <laughs> Um, so it, it's, it's been very challenging and that's why I would like for someone or, you know, a child, a teenager, a tween to know exactly what you want to do with your life. And to follow your passion. And, and to follow your passion. Because you felt it was a safe way to go to school and get your education and your degrees and that would be safer. Yes. But you still had it in your heart. Yes. To act and yes. to write yes. and to participate in the arts. Yes, yes I did. It's um it's something that I've been wanting to do. Um I actually wanted my uh sons to do it. I actually had my son and, and his best friend in acting classes in Newburg. Uh-huh. Um they have these classes where you just pay five dollars a week and I would take them every Saturday. But it wasn't their dream. They're right. calling. They talk about it now. Ma, we should have um, stayed in those classes. But back then, I would get up and they would literally hide from me. <laughs> <laughs> One day, I went running out looking for them and made them go to the acting class. But then that next time, you know, since I worked full time as a right. teacher, I just said, you know what? If they don't want to go, I'm just going to relax because it was my day off. Yeah. And that's something that I regret. You know, I wish I would have been more like a Joe Jackson. <laughs> <laughs> Did you find it difficult raising your children as a single parent? Yes. Yes. Um, so, in I, especially me, because I have boys. Right. Um, and they need their father. They need their father. I didn't even know how to teach my um, oldest how to tie um, a bow tie. Yeah, I don't know how to do that either. <laughs> you know, I don't know how to teach. It's just things like that, you know. But I can talk to them, and I can tell them right from wrong, and I can tell them how to treat a woman. Right. You know? Very important. And um, I can also tell them, um, on re I can give them relationship advice based on me being a mother, a woman. Right. You know, but other than that, they do need their father. I mean, it was hard for me to talk about the birds and the bees, but um, I always um, instill safety -ness. Right. You know, I will stick a condom in my son's book bag. <laughs> yeah, well, that's smart. Yeah. <laughs> and, um, you know, it, it's just things that I would do, you know, just to, because I was scared uh, for them. You know, so. It's so frightening to have them go off to school or go off to where they're going and not be there to supervise and not know if somebody's going to bother with them. Yes. You know? Yes. And somebody's going to take advantage of them. Yes. Do you think that your acting and your writing um, has affected your role as an educator? It has perfected it. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> yes. Um, the students know that I'm an actress, an actor, and um, they know I'm in a play, and um, they admire me. And um, I ask them, what, you know, what are your goals? What are your right, dreams? Right, exactly. And so uh, some of them are aspiring to be actors as well. So then I can give them advice. Right. You know, and um, also. The one good advice I can give them is just to keep going. You're going to get a lot of doors slamming in your face, but that's with any job, any profession. So you can't let that deter you from your right. goals. Don't give up. Do not give up. One step in front of the other. Yes. yes. Until you get there. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, has playing Mother Mary, has that affected your faith as a Christian? Um, it has deepened it. 
that's deep in my faith. Um, I feel that I have to be a certain way. You know, it's an honor to play Mother Mary. So, you know, you have to, you know, be a certain way. She was um, there for her son. They were very close. Right. And um, she was with him till the end. And uh, I, I admire the role. And um, it has made me gravitate more to being a Christian. And what advice would you give our young people if they're interested in writing or becoming an actor? Or even anyone that's not young. I mean, we're not old until we're past 100, I don't think. So. <laughs> You're right about that. So what would you give somebody under 100? <laughs> um, write things down. And that's, um, I would give them the same advice that um, my acting coach gives me. <laughs> you know, write things down if you have an idea. You know, write it down. Uh, don't let it pass through the moment. And um, like um, I tell my students, if you like to rap, then start off with writing some raps now. Right. You know, this is what you, you know, I let them know. What do you think Kanye and, you know, except Jay-Z. I, uh, I think he just, I don't think he writes his raps down. Really? <laughs> yeah, I think he just spits it out. Okay. Yeah. It just goes. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's good to but um, I feel if you're not like Jay-Z, <laughs> I feel that you should be writing things down, you know, um, keeping a journal. Right. And things like that. Perfecting your craft. You know, um, read, you know, um, do your homework. You know, um, see if it's for you. Right. You know, and maybe if you want, you can um, go to your neighborhood, um, your neighborhood uh, churches and, and see if you can uh, perform and, 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 you know, play or something. Right. And, you know, you start off taking baby steps. Baby steps is where it's at. Yes. <laughs> If there was one thing in this world that you want to work towards changing, what would that be? The violence, the hate, the hate crimes. Um, I would like to protect our babies, our children. Um, and I would like us to just, just um, kind of, you know, embrace each other, respect each other, you know. Enjoy each other's differences. Yes, yes. And work together. Yes. To make a world that works better for everyone. Yes. <laughs> so yeah. So what are you what are you looking in the future? Um, I help to to our youth, to our older adults. Um, I'm sort of in the middle right now. Right. <laughs> so um, I I just really want to help. You know, we can all do something to inspire right. others, you know, whether it's to encourage them by a book, you know, whichever way you can inspire and, and encourage someone who might right. need the help and the assistance and the guidance, that's what we really need to do. Right. And like you said, we can all help each other to help others. Exactly. So we're going to be looking for your performance. You can't wait. com. Yes. And you can see when the performance is going to be. I know you're enjoying playing Mother Mary. Yes, I am. Yes, I am. Great. Um, it's it's a it's a brilliant role. Um, it's it's an honor. <laughs> when I tell my friends, I'm like, I'm playing Mother Mary. <laughs> <laughs> and they're you know, and they they can't wait to see it. I have a. a Full audience coming to see the play. Oh, good. Well, I understand. I understand it's going to be dress rehearsals this December, and then in January some performances, and then you're taking it to Manhattan, correct? Yes. To Manhattan yes. Neighborhood Network. 
Yes, yes. And, and I would also like us to maybe go to different schools, maybe. I have to talk with David about right. that. Right, and see whether or not, yes. we can, you know, you can get into the different schools. Yes. Great, mm -hmm. great. And look for Andrea, the amazing Andrea. Look for her book, I Love Me. And in time for Christmas and Thank any you. holidays, any birthdays, yes. bringing your children to a new level of understanding. Yes. Thank you so much, Andrea. Thank you for having me. Thank you, Nan. Are you okay? Sure, there's just a lot going on right now. So many things happening so fast. What? What's troubling you? Did you know before it happened? What? Did you sense something was going to happen to your boy before it did? Oh, no, Mary. Now I know what you're going through. <laughs> oh, I'm so sorry. What a crew. Always hustling. Is everything okay? Sure, there's just a lot going on right now. There's no time. There's plenty of time. Debbie, that's my last best offer. Oh no, Mary. And Josh sprung you, didn't he? Martha said that, that you're the lamb. What does it matter who's favored by me when you are all favored by him? Come on, come on, step right up. What's going on? Well, then I forgive you. Forgive me for what? Get to that thing. What? You must do this, Judge. No matter what. I just don't know if I'm ready yet. This is it, gentlemen. We don't do things like that. Look, you are all sleeping. No! You cannot take him! Go in peace. You are forgiven. Forgiven for what? Everything! Be gone! <laughs> they don't care about me. Oh, Pete, thank heaven you're safe. Uh, these people don't want justice, they want blood. My lord! What have they done to you? Crazy Jews. Take him to the dump. Hang him. Oh no! Oh, 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 oh. oh rise, oh, my oh, beloved oh, friends. Oh, the Lord has heard your prayer and is with you now. Oh, by the way, Judge senses love. Oh, oh, oh. You're able to work your problems through, inspired by my children, by my students, um, nephews, nieces, um, neighbors, kids. <laughs> I am playing that Mother Mary, uh -huh. and it's an honor to play that role. It's been my passion. Did you say something was going to happen to you before it did? Oh, no, Mary. I was only eight years old. I didn't even know what happened. I, I just really want to help. You know, we can all do something to inspire right. others. 